Today is 12th of September 2019 and this is a 28 years old red eared slider. Okay, now the complaint was what? Not eating, lethargy yeah. and the uh, whole body is swollen. Hmm. Okay, the, the owner actually phoned me because she said that she checked the internet and uh, there were blood worms. She thought that this red eared slider had blood worms and therefore she was not eating. Now we look at the the video. Video, yeah. Now we check the red ear slider, and you can see we run the video. Okay, I, I focus on it. Yeah, okay. Now on the body, the whole body of the red ear slider, there are small reddish worms. Is it moving? I can see it's moving. Mm -hmm. And the owner thought these are the blood worms, according to the internet. Any more? Like this. There's another stick, one. Stick on the body. Mm. These are actually on the surface, right? Yeah. From where to where? From everywhere. From the whole body. Whole body, the surface. Uh, uh, there. These are the worms. Uh. This reminds me of those uh, millipedes on the, on the soil. They keep on growing, multiplying. Okay, where is the the microscopic photo, the close-up, we did have a close-up and you can see wait, uh, put it down on the table, I can focus uh. you have to put on the table to so focus now you can see that the the iPhone is quite good, the phone, not the handphone you can see that this is actually the worms this is the darker one, uh. okay, any more? Mm -hmm. I thought there is one more the reddish one, uh. you can see uh, the young ones will be the reddish ones. Uh. They look like maggots to me. And uh, okay, and so now we see the real ones. So my assistant will pour, pour it, pour the real life life ones onto the. You can see they're really moving. It's terrible. This is the first time I've seen such a case. Because Singapore red ear sliders normally don't have such infestation with worms. How many centimeter or centimeter? Around one centimeter per hmm? each worms. Hmm. Now, as you saw just now, they actually have hairs on the body, so they look like caterpillars or larva. Hmm? And the owner was very worried. Okay, now we look at this. Now we keep the. Now we look at this red ear slider. Now there, there, there is some swelling on top, as you can see. But we have given furosemide how many milligram? 10 mg per ml. Hmm. So now you can see the swelling actually is, has gone down. The collar also. Show the collar. The collar is very much swollen early on there. Yeah. The collar, you know where's the collar? Uh, the foe, uh, uh, this is the collar point to it. Uh, and then below also, it was very much swollen early on. You will see the previous video, there's another video before this. And then, uh, okay, then the back also, there's a swelling. The loose skin, no, at the side there, this side. Uh, it was much worse about how many hours ago? Three hours ago, uh, right? Yeah. Now it's gone down because we given furosemide which brings down the fluid from the body. So I suspect this red ear slider had either kidney, liver or heart disease so that there is fluid formation. Of course, it could be due to malnutrition the other side. It was really very much more, more uh, swollen with fluid than now. And with frosimide, we managed to get... Is there any, any wound there? This one reddish wound here? No, this one is just there. Hmm? Mm. Hmm? Yeah, because the, the, the shells are rotting mm. already. The reason is that this, this red ear slider is, is malnourished. See. Okay, see the neck below? Turn, you can see that it's really reddish, this part now. Wait, is it the blood? Yeah, it yeah. looks like hematomar oh. on the whole body. Or oh, was it due to the worms sucking the blood? Oh. Yeah, okay, is there any more? Uh, yeah. This part the so. Uh, I think there might be blood in the stools so. But uh, uh, the vents is reddish. Huh? Okay, any more worms? Where did you get the worms? Just show up. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. From the they toes. Live on the skin fold. The toes. Yeah, like this, the skin fold. Mm -hmm. Just show the area. Where's the area also we took out? Yeah. Found two. Under the under collar. The collar here found. Yeah. Hiding. Okay, hiding. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And then the arms then here. Just the, like this skin fold. Skin fold here. Inside or, yeah. or just on the fold? Attached. Attached on the skin fold. It's, it's like hookworms. Uh. Yeah. Some more? Yeah. Any more other areas? The armpits or this? Uh, no. No. Like, like this area. This uh, how about that? Uh, that one, one, the wound? What is that? The reddish? The skin is no good. Yes. No, the one, the reddish bleeding part. What yeah. is that? The, yeah, shell the shell is no good. Shell already damaged. Uh. Yeah, see? The mm. uh, algae. Uh, this is algae. Mm. This is a 28 year old slider. Mm. Now we look at the mouth, the, the main thing is the mouth. You can see that the tongue is really white. This is very dangerous. It looks now, on closer examination, it looks like it's infected nah, with uh, fungus. Ah. That's why it's all whitish. Ah. Of course, uh, you can see, normally the, the, the tongue is, is uh, pinkish and not so uh, soft. This one you can see it looks like glue. Ah. So this, I would say, is a f infection of fungus. That the whole thing is slimy. It looks like slime, and then the throat. So see the throat. Further down, there's some bubbles there. So, can we take a cotton bud and see whether we can scrape off the the slime or not? The the mucus. Uh. Mm. One person don't block don't block my view. Uh. Mm. No, the tongue only the surface of the tongue. Can we scrape off anything and check this? No. Is it no, mucus? Soft, yeah. No mucus. Is it the tongue, tongue itself? Soft, yeah, then itself. The tongue is soft, yeah? Yeah. No, no mucus on the on the cotton bud? No mucus. Dry. Dry. Dry, yeah. Yeah. Nothing no at all. Mucus, yeah, nothing at all. So the tongue is really soft and soft. Uh, due to malnutrition, it should, should it should be at, at least a pinkish, yeah? So I would say this red ear slider had poor nutrition because for the last 20 years the owner switched to vegetables and as you can see the shell is not very good huh? not not enough nutrition yeah this one scrub already though. yeah just clean up yeah you all clean up yeah so we hope this this red ear slider will survive and live another five years. Normally they live up to 30 plus. Now it's 28. Uh. The, the, the good ones, good health, they live up to 35. Of course, it varies, uh, but uh, overall, has it got, uh, is it fat? It's not thin. Uh. Okay, now we will give an injection of Betril, plus a bit of prep. Turn upside down under the skin. Uh. Under the skin, we give half on one side and half on the other side. And this is important because orally it's hard for him to take medicine. Then we will keep it dry overnight and then give uh, iron and uh, also multivitamins and uh, critical care. Today is day one, so we'll see how, how it goes. A 28 year old red ear slider, female, right? Female because the claws are short. And uh, the 28, no, today's what? 12, 12 September 2019, Tobio Vets, Singapore. 